Incoming transmission. Greetings everybody, Irish Trekkie back with another Star Trek Online Starships collection from our friends over at Hero Collector. We have issue two, the USS Chimera, NCC 97400, the very first Starfleet Federation ship to be captained by a Ferengi. Yes, this is Captain Nog's mighty chariot and uh, I'm very happy to be doing a review off this ship. Uh, thanks for your support on the very first uh, model review from this collection featuring the USS Gagarin. The links are in the description below if you haven't checked that out already. Uh, this collection is shaping up to be something pretty freaking awesome. And a uh, big shout out to our friends over at Hero Collector for sending over this model. It gives me an opportunity to do a review for you fine folks. And if you stay through the video, I shall be giving away a 50% off uh, code to pick up a uh, ship from the Zen store uh, from Star Trek Online that comes with these issues. So be sure to check that out later on in the video. Uh, I hope whoever got the first one uh, was able to snag a bargain on the Zen store and get an awesome uh, tier six ship and uh, are, are enjoying that on the PC. So um, here we have our issue two. Before we dive in and check out this model, Massive shout out to the supporters over on the Patreon channel. Big welcome to the new patrons that have recently joined. Your support is greatly appreciated. And I cannot overestimate my gratitude for you fine folks. But without further ado, let's dive into this collection. For those not familiar with the collection, this is a brand new collection from the folks over at Hero Collector. Uh, you get a 5-inch die-cast model of the USS Chimera in this instance. And you will also get a collector's magazine with an in-depth profile of the ship, including uh, annotated renders, original production artwork uh, showing how it was designed and a look at how the designs evolved uh, throughout as well. And you should get hopefully a little bit of snippets of lore. And as I said, each uh, issue comes with a voucher that you can redeem on the Zen store for the PC version of Star Trek Online. Uh, but we're here for the ship and the magazine, aren't we? So let's open her up and uh, check her out, shall we? So this is a pretty cool design and um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what's in the magazine as well because I found, oh, I'm after tearing that box. Um, I found that the content in the first magazine was pretty, pretty awesome. I'm gonna take the code away and I'll show you that a little bit later on. We have our ship. And we have our magazine, 25th century goodness. Uh, length 459 meters, uh, commander uh, is Captain Nog. Yes, yes, um, has to be done like, you know, well, well deserving of such an amazing character portrayed by such a unique and awesome individual. RIP, Mr. Eisenberg. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was a sad, uh, many, many sad losses uh, to the Star Trek universe there. Um, but listen, let's focus on the joy and happiness that the franchise brings us uh, in the version of these fantastic models. So we're going to have a look at that magazine a little bit later on. So let's unbox the beastie that is the Chimera and get up close and personal, shall we? Okay, so let's get the Chimera out of here. Again, I'm liking how these are being presented to us actually. Again, in the cardboard surround, you have the very familiar plastic shroud that we've come used to. Oh, that was a hell of a sound. Ooh, I'm just looking at here. Looking pretty cool. Okay, put that down for a second. Match your pup. those interested at home we have USS Chimera 2670A slash A aft mounted and again goes in pretty securely there one nice thing with these gloves is they can polish as we go so uh, let's have a look at the Chimera shall we so here she is so this is a more conventional Federation paint scheme so again this was early in the life of um, 
Star Trek Online, so going back to 2011. So again, uh, as far as I remember, it didn't have those kind of bold black and white schemes that we've seen before. So you have a lot of sculpts on this. And again, you can kind of see the scale of the ship with the windows. There's no mold on the windows, which is great. So again, we're not really looking at alignment issues or anything like that at all. You have the USS Chimera registry. You have some detailing around the phaser strips. Again, this section will be the one that's dynamic that would raise up for the tactical uh, array, that Lotus uh, array that would uh, inflict a huge amount of DPS in game. Again, you have your escape pods. Nice shuttle bay down the aft as well. And again, nice, I believe these are the impulse arrays here as well, which are plastic inset. Quad nacelled. Plastic inset for the bizarre collectors. I said plastic inset, painted inset there, sorry. Uh, die cast. Yeah, so it's, it's really just kind of like the back portion that's plastic by the looks of it. Plastic inserts for the Bizarre Collectors. And again, plastic, but it can accent it with a little bit of a graphic or a paint on those nacelle components there as well. And plastic on the insert here too, which is quite nice. So you have a pennant, but you do have some uh, registry information on the nacelle there as well. Paint apps are quite nice, I must say. A lot of phaser strips on this ship as well. Again, very interesting section down here. And again, a very interesting ventral section. There you have the slipstream component of the ship as well, that massive deflector. And again, a very TNG-esque ventral phaser strip. And I like the sculpt, I like the panel lines here. Kind of adds a lot of kind of muscle to it too. Actually, these could be impulse sections as well up here. So yeah, it could be a kind of auxiliary ones. Almost kind of uh, excelsior type of detailing along here as well. And again, just rows and rows and rows of windows. And here too. She's a big ship. I like it. I like the profile. I like the side on view. And it's an interesting, it's an interesting profile. And again, that kind of graduated saucer section here as well gives it just that little bit of kind of like, it, it's a beefy, it's a beefy bruiser off a ship, this heavy cruiser of ours, isn't it? Let's see what she's like on the stand, shall we? So here we have the Chimera on the stand. Uh, sits very, very cleanly on those aft horizontal pylons connecting those quad nacelles there as well. Again, very similar to the first issue where it went in just that kind of right amount of friction in there to give you peace of mind that the ship isn't going anywhere, but it hangs out over that uh, base in there as well. I have it a little bit askew. Um, Gives a little bit of a rake as well to kind of show off all that interestingness on the belly of the ship as well. So really, really nice in there. Again, the paint scheme, nothing bold. Very, very kind of monotone grey with some kind of darker uh, graphite accents throughout the ship as well. There's no Aztec in, so all the detailing is really in the sculpt. And again, there's some very, very small... Uh, plastic part inclusions there in the nacelles and the deflector dish which I appreciate rather than being painted. Again decal details are pretty good especially around the saucer section and the windows. Everything is nice and clearly defined uh, but it's so super cool to have um, yeah it's super cool to have uh, a chimera uh, in the collection as well and again looking at the the couple of hundred or previous ships that I've reviewed here just to the uh, right of me. It sits in there pretty, pretty cool for, again, um, a ship that kind of was born from a contest to design um, the the next uh, flag-carrying ship. 
the Enterprise as well, so it's pretty cool. Um, I have seen this ship many times in game, and again, a lot of people that I've seen with them have definitely made them into beam boats as well because you have the Lotus array. But because you have that tactical system in there as well, you could quite easily augment that with some uh, torpedo uh, fore and aft uh, configurations there as well, so you can kind of offset it too. But um, very, very, very cool ship. Really like it. So here's our magazine, USS Chimera NCC 97400. Now what I like with these magazines, as I said in the previous video, I like the form factor. They're nicely sized and uh, you do get a lot of content on these. Again, you have your ship profile. We have the orthos designing the Chimera. And again, we have some fantastic lore about Captain Nog and in-game stats as well. So again, for people who don't know, again, Star Trek Online is a massively multiplayer uh, free game uh, for PC, PlayStation and Xbox One, as you can see here. But uh, you can upgrade your gear and uh, again, you can buy premium equipment as well. But uh, getting together with a, a group and playing through the missions is so much fun. And they get Star Trek actors and fantastic um, story arcs kind of continuing on from like the TNG era uh, as well. So here we have some points of interest. Again, quad nacelle features here, some very interesting designs, and again, our mounting instructions on that as well. So, the search for a new enterprise brought hundreds of fan created starships to life. If you're part of this channel, you would know I've already reviewed the Enterprise F Odyssey class that features from Star Trek Online that was brought to us as a bonus ship in the regular Star Trek line from Hero Collector. Do check out the playlist below for that. So Jason Lee designed the Chimera, originally intending it to become the next version of the USS Enterprise. Although that didn't happen, the design took on a life of its own. So in 2011, Cryptic Studios needed to design a new starship. However, it wasn't just any ship that they needed to create, but a new version of the Enterprise herself. This new Enterprise will be the flagship of Starfleet in the 25th century, the timeline that their newly released game, Star Trek Online, would inhabit so yeah like oh my gosh again we talked about the enterprise f turning into the odyssey class and so on and so forth uh but the chimera eventually rose to being a heavy destroyer so designated a heavy destroyer the uss chimera is a powerful starship designed to punch above her weight class during assignments uh with numerical numerically superior foes. Uh, convinced, uh, well, conceived just as a new Klingon Federation war began in 2405. Oh, those Klingons. The Chimera launched in 2407 under the command of Starfleet's first frigate captain, Nog. Since then, the Chimera and her sister ships have seen action across the galaxy in the tumultuous political landscape of the early 25th century. So this is fabulously you know different ship you know it has some of the hallmarks of um federation design in there but again like you have tactical mode here so it deploys a massive phaser lotus array revealing uh the menacing visage so you can see it kind of morphing in here and again not too alien to star trek as well like when you're looking at the prometheus the way the discovery had uh some dynamic features on it as well so again, you're looking here through the the multiple target, regenerative mode, tactical mode. You have the EPS distribution as well as the kind of shape-shifting nature of uh, the ship itself as well. So very, very interesting uh, design. So Starfleet engineers had hoped that the modest size of the Chimera meant that the ship of this class could be deployed quickly. Unfortunately, the complexity of the dynamic tactical system uh, led to longer construction times uh, than originally planned. So 458.7 meters, crew 450, commissioned uh, in uh, 2407. And again, captain by um, our good old Captain Nog. Interesting points here, quantum slipstream field. You have your normal phase cannons, shuttle bays, main bridge, uh, quad nacelle. I like the kind of plasma regulator uh, assembly over here as well. Very interesting uh, profile on there too. So very cool ship. Here's some concept for the Odyssey, the ship that ended up being the Enterprise F. 
So here we have designing uh, the ship as well. So there's going to be some very, very interesting pieces over here. And again, we have some mentions of, uh, again, the, the legend that is John Eves. Um, I love this, actually. I love this work here. I love the kind of lines and the strong back um, on this ship as well. Again, something being so unique in a franchise that has spanned uh, five, almost six, coming up to six decades, uh, which would be the next milestone. Um, it's a challenge in itself as well, so pretty cool. Again, here we have some nice uh, renders here as well. So Jason Lee's final uh, contest submission, if I can get the page correct here. Oh, there you go. Uh, you can see the Magellan class, uh, USS Enterprise NCC-1701F, as it was uh, called there as well. So you can see the registry showing up here, close up off the slip stream uh deflector there as well so which is awesome so after making the submission lee got feedback from other fans and continued to iterate the design as well so that's awesome and uh, almost like a again a community contest with a community uh reach and uh, feedback as well which is awesome so captain nog the first frangi in starfleet nog uh persevered through his career to become captain of the uss chimera May you live in interesting times. Few have lived in times as interesting as those experienced by the famous Nog. He survived the Dominion War as a freshly minted Starfleet ensign and went on to serve as an engineer on the Federation's flagship before finally taking command of the USS Chimera. So he went on to serve as an engineer on Federation's flagship. Very, very cool. So I love this lore breathing life into, again, the characters, as well as those who inhabited the ship as well. There we have the Chimera and Deep Space Nine in there as well. So again, you have the Herc. Yeah. Again, form affordable foo. So we're going to have some lore going in here through the Chimera. And again, lobes for change as well. Yeah, yeah. Nog, Nog was a special. Like that whole family, like, you know, his dad and his uncle. Top notch. And his granny was pretty freaking awesome as well. So here we have our tactical stats for you in-gamers. Uh, or people new to the game as well. So we've already identified that the ship is a heavy destroyer. It's a tier 5 with a hull of 34 500. Turn rate 14. Yeah. Uh, bonus power plus 10 uh, on weapons. Device slots 3. And you have 4 four uh, weapons you have three aft weapons and you have your experimental weapon as well so that lotus array you have a command a bridge officer you have engineering science and two universals you have four command slots three engineering and two science as well you have your console power being dynamic tactical systems uh, no ship mastery and no specialization as well so again being a tier five yeah um but a very capable ship Nonetheless, and again, under the helm of uh, experienced captain, can, as you say in the magazine, can punch above its weight for sure. Um, so that's pretty cool. Stay tuned for the next review coming as well, which will be issue number three, the USS Andromeda. So this will be more of an exploration, uh, yeah, exploration cruiser. Uh, again, you have your vibes off the Galaxy class. Really looking forward uh, to get my hands on that one. So let's close out on the back graphic, shall we? So folks, there is our issue two, USS Chimera, uh, the ship that was helmed by the Starfleet's first Federation, uh, first Klingon, where am I going? Helmed by the Federation's first Ferengi captain. And as I promised, these issues come with uh, a coupon code to allow you to get 50% off any tier six ship listed in the Star Trek Online Zen Store, PC only. So if you have stuck through to the video to the end, I hope you enjoy. Here's your code, folks. So again, become a part of Star Trek and dive into the world of Star Trek Online. So first come, first serve. Hope you enjoy that coupon code. And uh, folks, thanks for stopping by. Check out the video. Uh, again, many more videos there to check out. All the details are in the doobly-doo down below. Have a great weekend or week whenever you're watching this and uh, your support is greatly appreciated. If you did like the video, uh, let me know in the comments below. Hit the like button, uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to support. And again, you can support the channel over on uh, Patreon and PayPal. 
and uh, say hello on Twitter, um, Instagram, or Discord. Again, all the links are down the doobly doo. Without that said, with that said, I will see you in the next video. So take it easy and goodbye.